Hi, this is Jordan Terry from The Paperless Agent. One of the practices that we push for agents to use in their real estate business is to be posting to social media on a consistent basis while providing a variety of engaging content. Understandably, it can be hard to find time to do this regularly, but good news! Facebook just released their new Creator Studio, which allows you to have a lot more control over your social media. Using the materials that we provide to you as part of the Marketing Club, I put together a demo showing you how to easily create, schedule, and post content to both Facebook and Instagram using this new tool. Enjoy! This is Facebook's Creator Studio. Click here where it says Post Something, then select your Facebook business page to begin writing your first post for Facebook. It should look pretty familiar if you've ever written a post on your page before. Next, we're going to navigate over to the August 2020 MVP page, where you can easily find the social media posts for this campaign. Scroll down to where it says Marketing Materials, then click on Facebook Posts. For the first post, click on Post A here. You'll see which image we intend to accompany this post, then the text of the post below. Highlight and copy the text, then go back to the Creator Studio. Paste the text into the post area, then delete the bracketed text that says Insert Link to Post. When I insert the link, you'll see what's called a link preview. If this doesn't populate or populates with the wrong image, then you can just delete it and add the image as a photo to the post. Either way, make sure only this first image is showing for this post. I'm going to demonstrate immediately sharing a post for this one, and then I'll schedule the rest to post throughout the month. After I hit share now, the post is added to my content library. You might need to refresh your web page to see it. Let's schedule post B now. Click back to home or you can click on the blue create post button and start a new post. Select your business page, then go back to the MVP page. Click on Post B, check out the image, and grab the text there. Paste it into the post area, then delete the bracketed text. Again, I'll be adding the blog post link here, but you could also just write in, ask me for my free report if you don't have the blog post up yet. Select the corresponding image, then click on the gray Share Now button to schedule a future time and date for this to post on your Facebook business page. Then click Schedule Post. Again, you can see your new post in the content library, and you'll notice that this one says Scheduled instead of Published. Now we're going to post to Instagram. Click on the Instagram logo at the very top of the Creator Studio and select the business account you want to use. Click on Create Post, then Instagram Feed. For each Instagram post, you will need to upload an image or video. You can't post without one. So head back to the MVP page, click out of the Facebook post pop-up, then scroll to the Instagram Post button. Click to reveal the Instagram post and download the image. Copy all the text as well before going back to the Creator Studio. Paste the copy in the post area and clean it up. You'll want to edit the local hashtags at least to reference your market. For location this time, I just put a general Austin, Texas, but you could also enter in your brokerage as well if you have a physical office. Then upload the photo we just downloaded. I 
I recommend checking this button to cross post this to your Facebook business page as well. Two posts for the price of one. Then click the down arrow next to publish to schedule your post. This one took a bit to show up in the content library, but there you can see that it's scheduled. Okay, let's add the last Instagram post, the animated video. Click on create post, then Instagram feed to start a new post. Go back to the MVP page and find the button that says social media videos. Click on animated video. At the bottom, you can see a preview of the video, but click this link here to download the file itself. Then copy the text and go back to Creator Studio. Clean it up a bit and edit your hashtags like we did before. And on this one, I'm going to replace the bracketed text with link in bio because Instagram doesn't allow for clickable links in post captions. Your bio link is editable through your Instagram settings. I'm going to put Austin as my location again, but I'm going to customize the animated video before I upload it. I'll be using the free site canva.com and I'm going to start a new Instagram post design which just is a size option available in Canva. Then I'm going to upload the animated video file and click to add it to this canvas here in the middle of my screen. By the way, we have full instructions for this process available in the Help Center if you miss a step in this demo. Once the video is on the canvas, right click and select set video as background. Then upload your logo or headshot and click to add it to the canvas as well. I like to place it in the bottom left corner of the video on this white bar on the bottom. Click and drag a bit to resize the logo like you want. Then click on text so we can add your contact info. There should be some familiar formatting options in this top bar like font, size, and color. I like to right align the text and place it in the bottom right corner of the video. Once you're finished, click up here to download your new video file and head back to the Creator Studio. Click to add your video and check the box to cross post it to your Facebook business page if you'd like. And again, you can schedule this post for a little bit later in the month. I'm just choosing random dates for this demo. Before I click schedule though, let's edit the thumbnail for this video. You can pick one of these auto generated images or you can upload your own image or you can choose a video frame. I'm going to go with the last option for this one. Now that's selected, I can click to schedule this post. It'll be added to the content library in a few seconds and there you go.